What's up, everybody? Good afternoon. I'm Jonathan Mathis, the sports judge. I'm so fucking upset right now. I'm upset because I wasted 10 damn minutes making a video talking about the firing of Darvin Ham. And you know that shit didn't even upload to TikTok. Pissed me the hell off. But I'm back. I'm basically going to say what I said for 10 minutes about Darvin Ham. Now, look. We all knew it was a matter of time that Darvin Ham would get canned, right? We knew the day was coming that the Lakers would eventually move on from him, that he would get fired. He was on the hot seat. I think he was on the hot seat since January. You heard reports that, you know, there was a, a growing disconnect in the locker room. And usually when that happens, when a coach loses the locker room, what does that usually tell everyone? That, hey, this coach most likely won't be back. Uh, you know, that he's on the hot seat. That he's about to be fired sometime soon. Because if the players are not listening to you, and if, you know, the players are not on board with you, then, yeah, that's a problem. That's that's most likely going to lead to termination. And that's what happened with Darvin Ham. You know, the players wanted him out. The fans wanted him gone. You know, he was not the right fit for the team. I knew it all along. I didn't like this hire in the first place. I said that it was a bad hire for the Los Angeles Lakers. People got on me for that. You know, they were saying, give this man a chance to show what 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 he can do. He didn't do diddly squat, okay? I, I think at times he didn't even know what the hell he was doing himself, uh, you know, and, and the Lakers should have learned their lesson. Hopefully this time they, they did. What I mean by that is that stop hiring these, these damn first-year head coaches, these assistant head coaches, because just because you're an assistant head coach who's done a great job under a coach doesn't necessarily mean – uh, you have the qualifications to be a head coach or that you will be a good head coach, right? And that's what we saw with Darvin Ham. I mean, it was a total disaster. I mean, you know, it was it was a bad hire. You know, at times out there, the man looked confused. He looked lost. He looked like he didn't know what he was doing. You know, and I just thought it wasn't a great hire. And, and, and you know, a lot of these Le LeBron haters are saying, well, LeBron got another coach fired. You know, now I don't know if, the coaches he got fired in the past or if he did get them fired or whatever happened. Um, I don't know if that was justifiable, but this one was justifiable, okay? This this firing was justified. Darvin Ham needed to go. Darvin Ham had no business coaching the Los Angeles Lakers. You know, you would always see him walking the sideline with hands in his pockets and all that. I mean, you know, maybe he is a nice guy. You know, obviously he's a nice guy. You know, he's a gentleman and everything, but nice doesn't win you championships. And I know he got, guided this team to the Western Conference Finals. I know he did a good job a year ago getting this team to the Western Conference Finals. I get all of that. But, damn, you got swept against the Nuggets last year, and you lost to the Nuggets this year in a gentleman sweep. You know, and the problem that I had with Darvin Ham was that he would let opposing teams go on, on a run before calling a damn timeout. So for me, it was his terrible rotations. Um, it, it was his inability to call plays. You know, his his terrible game plan that the Lakers couldn't execute. You know, you look at the small ball lineup that he constantly went with all the damn time. I didn't understand that either. I was baffled on many nights. You know, why are you running three guards? You know, why Why you have a start a starting lineup that features three guards? You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people are blaming this firing on LeBron. LeBron has nothing to do with this, okay? The Lakers realize they're, they're, they're screw up. They realize they, they did a terrible job hiring this guy. But I'll tell you right, I'll tell you this. Rob Palinka better get it right this time. Rob Palinka better hire the right coach for the job. And there's a few names that's out there uh, that can replace Darvin Ham. Uh, there's a few names that come to mind. You know, my top candidate on their list is Mike Bootenholzer. I think Mike Bootenholzer uh, will be uh, great for the Lakers. You know, he's a defensive-minded coach. Um, he puts a repeated emphasis on defense. You guys heard me talk about this yesterday. 
Um, you look at his resume, and I mean, he has a championship on his resume, and I think the Lakers are, you know, gonna finally go in that direction. They need all I know. They need a coach who can who can right the ship, who can turn things around for this organization as fast as possible. Because as we all know, Laker fans are so damn impatient that they want to win another championship. And in order to do that, you got to bring in a coach who has that championship pedigree, who's been there before, someone who is seasoned and experienced and Mike Bootenholzer is all those things, right? Uh, Another guy you can look at who I think they should have hired, but they chose Darvin Ham. I think they should look at Mark Jackson. I think Mark Jackson would be a great hire uh, for the Lakers. But as you all know, you know, they say things like he's blackballed, that he'll never get another job in the NBA. They say it's his Christian beliefs that he won't. That's why he won't get a job and all this other stuff. You know, it, it, it's just nonsense to me. Uh, but this man definitely meets the qualifications. He definitely has the coaching credentials like Mike Budenholzer. J.J. Redick. No disrespect. I love J.J. J.J. is smart as hell. J.J. uh, knows the game of basketball. He has a great understanding for the game of basketball. And I do think one day, maybe next season, he's going to be a head coach in this league. He definitely, definitely, definitely has the brains to be one hell of an NBA coach, just not for the Lakers. The Lakers, man, they don't need to touch another first year inexperienced head coach. That's the that's the thing with him. He has zero experience. So so I say no to that. I say no to that. Um I think I think the Lakers are not gonna hire Mark Jackson. So I think the first choice would have to be uh Mike Bootenhoser. I mean he he guided the Milwaukee Bucks to multiple uh playoff uh appearances he's done a good job there hell he led milwaukee to its first uh championship in 50 years so i really like him a lot for the job uh but like i said rob palinka man he 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 gotta get this right or we're gonna be looking at him next we're gonna be looking at him and questioning him and saying um is he is he is he qualified to be a general manager is he the right fit for this job or is he unfit to be the general manager right about now it's not looking good for him either because to me he looks unfit to be the general manager you see all the trades he's made uh that kind of broke up this roster destroyed the roster um you know you you let alex caruso walk um, in free agency, you didn't bother to re-sign him. You probably should have because he was one of your best perimeter defenders. You lost out on that. You traded KCP and Kyle Kuzma uh, for Russell Westbrook. And how did that work out? I mean, that was a, a total disaster for the Los Angeles Lakers. So now it's time to kind of look at him and say, man, what are you doing? You know, are, are you the right guy for the job? You know, Jeannie Buss, man, and how she's been operating her business. I mean, wow. You know, but we can't put all this on LeBron. You know, we can't put all this on LeBron. LeBron, even if he did get him fired, Darvin Ham was not a good coach. Let's stop acting like he was such a great coach. The man will always have his hands in his goddamn pockets. Uh, let teams go on 23 or, or five run twenty on, on a twenty three and five run or uh, or twenty five and zero run before calling the timeout. By then you're already out of the game because you let them go on such a, a run that now it's hard for your team to get back in the game. You know, and then they weren't really the players weren't really listening to him. So yeah, it was time to move on from Darvin Ham. Darvin Ham was not the answer for the Los Angeles Lakers. So. Breaking news out of L.A., Darvin Ham has been fired. The Lakers have moved on from Darvin Ham. Yes, that's breaking news out of L.A. today. Darvin Ham will no longer be back as the Lakers head coach next season. The Lakers have fired him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's finally gone. It is officially over for Darvin Ham in Los Angeles. Thank you for your, your time. Thank you for your effort. Thank you for your hard work, but sorry, bro. You got to go. You got to go. Again, breaking news, the Los Angeles Lakers have fired Darvin Ham. All right, guys, I got to get out of here. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. 
We'll talk soon. Peace.